Hi there, and welcome to Chemistry and Science. We're looking at the rock cycle. So rocks are continu continually being broken down and then built up again. During the rock cycle, one type of rock is changed into another. Weathering is the breakdown of larger rocks into smaller pieces. There are two important ways in which rocks at the Earth's surface are weathered. These are physical weathering and chemical weathering. Physical weathering, so this happens when rocks are subjected to changes in temperatures. Uh, stages of the rock cycle, let's go through these one by one and then we'll study the diagram. So during the weathering, large rocks are broken down into smaller pieces. Erosion is the weathering down of rock by, for example, wind, waves and rain. Transportation is the movement of the eroded pieces of rock, usually by rivers and streams in this country, but also by wind and glaciers. So deposition occurs when sediment is laid down as the river can no longer carry it along. Rivers cannot carry large grains as far as small grains, as far as smaller grains. As the grains are transported, they rub against each other and the riverbed and become increasingly more rounded, smoother and smaller at the same time. So the rock cycle involves small particles being reused over and over again. And these processes happen over very long periods of time. You can see this particular rock cycle here. So we can see this particular diagram that shows us what's going on. So in total, you've got uh, the various weathering and erosion that takes place um, through the rivers. Sediment is then transported down uh, from the sea itself. And then you've got the various rocks, sedimentary rocks, metamorphic rocks, intrusive igneous rocks with their examples that show you exactly how this particular rock cycle actually works. So when the particular sediment is rolled and carried down the river, then they become more rounded, smoother and smaller as well. So you can see a rock here with a small crack in it just up here. This crack fills with water and then the water freezes and expands, widening this particular crack, which means that the pieces of rock get smaller and smaller over time as they go through the river itself and are deposited uh, into the sea. So have a read of this in detail and then answer the questions thereafter. Good luck with this. Thank you.